Welcome everyone to the Nobles County Library Story Time. This week we're going to be reading stories about sheep. But before we start reading our books, we're going to do our action verse if you like to read a book. And remember, the actions are just like if you're happy and you know it. Okay, here we go. If you like to read a book, clap your hands. If you like to read a book, clap your hands. If you like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you like to read a book, clap your hands. If you like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you like to read a book, shout hooray. Hooray! If you like to read a book, shout hooray. Hooray! If you like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you like to read a book, shout hooray. Hooray! Awesome job, everybody. Now we'll get started with our stories. The first book we're going to read is Sheep, Dog, and the Sheep Sea by Eric Barclay. She loves to dance. She knows all kinds of fancy dances like the wildflower dance, the mud puddle dance, and the get the spider off me dance, and of course the pee pee dance. Dancing makes her very happy, and when she's happy, she closes her eyes. And when she closes her eyes, she bumps into things, usually trees. But one day, she bumped into something that wasn't a tree. It was a someone, a very hairy someone. Holy begonia, she said, who are you? I'm the sheepdog, said the someone. I watch the sheep. Well, I'm a sheep sheep. I watch sheep too. Everyone knows I'm an expert at watching sheep. I don't see how you can be much of a sheep watcher with all that hair in your eyes. But I can fix that for you. Be right back. She skipped off towards the farmhouse. Just then, Sheepdog spotted an eagle overhead. It was looking at sheep like a mouse looks at cheese. The eagle dived. But Sheepdog told him to vamoose. Look at that. Went into the net. Sheep found Sheepdog waiting for her outside the farmhouse. She tied his hair up into a pretty bow. Now you'll be able to see the sheep, she said. Except you're still missing something very important. Be right back. Sheepdog looked around. It was true, he could see a little better with his hair pulled up. There was the shed and the apple tree and the coyote. Coyote! Sheepdog told him to skedaddle. Sheep returned with the binoculars. Here you go, she said. Now you'll be able to keep a sharp eye out for eagles and coyotes. Now, I don't suppose you have a map under all that hair, do you? Sheepdog shook his head no. Well, you're going to need a map so you won't get lost. Be right back. She danced her way towards the old truck to retrieve the map. 
Uh-oh, the dancing made her very happy. She closed her eyes, and because she closed her eyes, she couldn't see that. Do you guys see anything wrong with our bridge? Right, it's broken, isn't it? It's missing a spot. But Sheepdog did. She kept dancing, and she had some extra fancy moves. Like most sheep dances, this one ended up with a bump on the head, but she had meant to do that. Really? Do you guys really think she meant it? She fished the map out of the glove box and handed it to Sheepdog. You're all set. You've got a bow so you can see, binoculars to keep an eye out for danger, and a map so you won't get lost. Sheepdog thought, sheep thought for a moment, now all we need are the sheep. She looked around, not a sheep in sight. She borrowed Sheepdog's binoculars, still no sheep. She unfolded the map, yep, we're definitely in sheep country. Where are all the sheep, she asked. Hmm. Do you guys see any sheep besides her? Did you lose them? Hmm. You're the only sheep, sheepdog said. Sheep sat down and thought about being the only sheep and not a sheep sheep. Hmm. And when she thought, she got very still. And when she got still, she got very quiet. Thinking could do that. Finally, sheepdog spoke. Maybe you're not a sheep sheep. Maybe you're a dog sheep. And your job is to watch the dog. After a moment, Sheep replied, hmm, well, of course, I'm a dog sheep. Everyone knows I'm an expert at watching dogs. And the end. That was kind of a silly story, wasn't it? So that would be fun to be a dog sheep. Okay guys, we're going to do a little flannel board. And this one is about woolly sheep. So one little woolly sheep with a brand new coat was sitting there watching. Guess what? Along came another lamb. And that makes, how many boys and girls? You help me count them. One, two. two. Good job. Along comes another lamb. And that makes how many? Let's count them. One, One two, two, three. three. Good job. Three little woolly lambs. They're by the barn door. And guess what? Along comes another one. And now we have, let's count them. One, One Two, three, four. Good job. We have four woolly lambs. They're so glad to be alive. And along comes another one. And now we have, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. So we have five woolly lambs having so much fun. They're all together, so let's count them one by one. One, one two, two, three, three four, four five. five. And what do our lambs say? You help me. Bye. Ah. Good job, guys. That was awesome. So now, you know, when we talk about sheep, we usually say if we have a hard time getting to sleep, we count sheep at night. Well, this story is about some sheep that need to go to sleep. So it's Sheep Go to Sleep by Nancy Shaw. 
And if you remember, she's the author that writes, writes the storybooks about the sheep in the Jeep. Mm -hmm. so let's find out what our sheep are up to. Winking fireflies light the way as sheep stroll home to hit the hay. Should we count how many sheep we have in our story? You help me. One, two, three, four, five. Great job, guys. Five sheep settle in their shed using straw to make their bed. Screeches rustling, noisy crickets. Sheep hear hoots from nearby thickets. Can you see who's in our thickets that's making that hooting sound? Anybody have an idea who it is? An owl, right. Look, there's an owl, and there's an owl. Can you guys make a hooting sound? Let's try it. Hoot, hoot. Good job. Nighttime noises scare the sheep. Really? Who could go to sleep? Mm, they're awfully scared. Sheep bleat, sheep sigh. A trusty collie wanders by. There he is. What would make the sheep feel snug? Collie gives. A sheep, a hug. The tired sheep begins to snore. We have one sheep sleeping. How many are left? You help me. One, one two, two, three, four. four. Oh, four more sheep to put to bed. One sheep asks to have a drink. The collie gets one from the sink. Another sheep begins to snore. Now we have two sheep asleep. How many more are awake? You help me count them. One, two, three. Very good. Three sheep are awake. A lullaby should calm the flock. Sheep tap rhythm, hum and rock. Another sheep begins to snore. Three sheep asleep. How many more? How many are awake? You help me count them. One, One two. two. Good job. One sheep wants a teddy bear. Collie brings his own to share. Another sheep begins to snore. Now we have four sheep asleep. How many are left that are awake? There's one. One. one last one wants a cozy quilt to snuggle in bed she built. The collie gives a weary grin. He fetches one and tucks her in. At last, all the sheep have closed their eyes. Look at how happy our collie is. He has done a good job. They'll, they'll drowsy dream until sunrise. Look at all the dreams they're having. But where is the dog? Who looks after the sheep? Can you guys find our dog anywhere? Hmm. Let's see, where is he? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Can I see him hiding under the haystack? And, all right, so I'm gonna have you guys stand up if you will. So we are going to do an action verse. All right. All right, this one's called Little Lamb. 
So little lamb, little lamb, turn around. Little lamb, little lamb, touch the ground. Little lamb, little lamb, jump up high. Little lamb, little lamb, reach the sky. Little lamb, little lamb, sit back down. Little lamb, little lamb, get ready to listen. Good job, guys. You did that super good. All right, this is our last story, and this is one of my favorite stories. It's No Sleep for the Sheep by Karen Beaumont. And you know, Beaumont, and you know what? Her illustrator is Jackie um, Urbana Dick, and she's the one that writes Duck at the Door. So that one's a pretty cool story, too. All right. So I bet this is maybe how you guys get ready for bed. Do you brush your teeth first? Do you set your alarm clock? Get your teddy bear? Get your night lights? Get ready for bed? All right. Now, in this book, I'm going to need some help with this. So we'll need to know what a duck says. Do you guys know what a duck says? Right. Quack! Do you guys know what a goat says? Right, he says, bah! Do you know what a pig says? Right, oink, very good. And our cow says, moo, right. And what about a horse? What does the horse say? Right, nay. And our rooster, what does the rooster say? Right, cock a doo doo. Okay, so when I ask, for you to help with that animal sound, we'll say it one time, okay? All right, here we go. In the big red barn, on the farm, on the farm, in the big red barn, on the farm, a sheep fell asleep. In the big red barn, in the big red barn, on the farm. And then there came a loud, what does our duck say? Quack. Quack! Good job. At the door, at the door. And the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the duck at the door. And please don't, what does our duck say? Quack! Quack. Anymore. The duck in the barn said, ready? Quack! Quack. Shh! Not a peep. Go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the duck and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. There they are. Then there was a loud, what does our goat say? Bah! Ah. At the door, at the door, and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the goat at the door, and please don't, what does our goat say? Bah! bah anymore. The goat in the barn said, ready? Bah! bah. Shh, not a peep, go to sleep said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. So the goat and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. And then there came a loud, what does a pig say? Oink. Oink. Good job. At the door, at the door, and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Go to sleep said the sheep to the pig at the door, and please don't, what does our pig say? Oink! Anymore. The pig in the barn said, ready? Oink! Shh, not a peep, go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon, the pig and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. 
And then there came a loud, what does our cow say? Moo. Moo. At the door, at the door. And the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the cow at the door. And please don't, ready? Moo. Moo. Anymore. The cow in the barn said, ready? Moo. Moo. Shh, not a peep. Go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the cow and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. Then there came a loud, what does our horse say? Nay! At the door, at the door, and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the horse at the door, and please don't, what does our horse say? Nay! Anymore. The horse in the barn said, ready? Nay! Nay. Shh! Go to sleep! Not a peep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Uh -oh. Soon the horse and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. In a deep, deep sleep in the big red barn, in the big red barn, barn on the farm. And then... Wake up, all of you. Hey, sheep, that means you, too. Do you think our sheep is going to get up? Let's find out. But the sheep kept right on sleeping through the nays and the moos and the cock a doodle doos in the big red barn on the farm. Yeah. He was super tired, wasn't he, guys? <laughs> All right. Well, since our story time was about sheep, if you're interested in all at doing a craft, we're going to put a woolly sheep together. And our kits will be out in our lobby. And our lobby is open Monday through Friday from 12 to 4. Just come and pick up your kit and bring it home and make your little woolly lamb at home. Right? Thank you. So, this is the end of story time for this week. So everybody get your hand up and let's do our story times over action verse. Okay? So, story time is over. Wave goodbye. Story time is over. Wave goodbye. Story time is done. I hope that you had fun. Story time is over. Wave goodbye. Thanks everyone. We'll see you next week.